Mark from Audio Pursuit, and today I want to talk to you about the Denifrips Aries 2 DAC. One of the hot items in the audio market for the past couple of years. Yet, it isn't sold in any stores. It's all direct to the consumer from China. Now, before you start freaking out about that, let me tell you something. There's some good chai fi that is out there. And this is one of those pieces. Now, a little bit of funny background. Um, I didn't get this straight from Finshine Audio. I actually bought this used. I was curious about the ladder to ladder DAX. And really, I thought, hmm, you know, I can try and uh, communicate and try to get one. But you know what? I'm going to buy one myself on the used market. So I went hunting around and luckily I found one at a really good value with just a little bit of patience. So it came in and I gotta tell you, this is something special. This really is a sweet little unit. To understand now that since I started listening to this, of course, Denifrips comes out with an updated version of the Aries 2 called the Aries 2 12th Anniversary. And they did some changes to it, including the one that everybody wanted. But more on that in a minute. Still, I wanted to hear this and I really felt a review was still necessary, even with the update. Well, what do you hear? Smooth musical, engaging. That's what you get. So with the Aries 2, I would say that compared to some other DAX I've heard, uh, the Bryston, which, I mean, detail, holy cow, uh, the Sim Audio 230 had headphone DAC. Uh, oh, I own that one for a couple of years. Loved it. Absolutely loved it for detail. Really, even the Oppo uh, headphone amplifier DAC. Um, what this does is just, you know, it makes you enjoy the music and just think about the music. You're thinking about, oh, did I hear that? No. You're thinking about, oh, this is nice. I'm just enjoying the music. That's what it's all about. Now, let's get into a little detail. First of all, um, as you can see here, uh, Denifrips gives you the smallest LEDs by far in the industry. I mean, they are barely visible. You have to have them at the right angle to see if they're on or off. Now, while this is not nice for late night listening, you don't have to worry. But if you're someone trying to, you know, engage the right buttons, if you don't get at the right level, you're going to struggle a bit. Now, as you can see across the front, it's got a series of seven buttons. And these are in kind of a little channel with little round uh, grooves. So it's a channel, and where each button is, there's a little bit more of a groove. So there is some uh, good textile feel to it, you can tell there. But as I mentioned previously, the big gripe about this DAC is the fact that when you want to go between the two modes, non oversampling, known as NOS, or OS for oversampling, there isn't just a simple button to hit on the Aries 2. Now, in the 12th anniversary edition, they changed up and they gave a specific button. But if you read the directions, and this is critical, this is one of those pieces of equipment. Read the directions. Because you're going to be glad you did. Otherwise, you're going to get a little frustrated. And I want to emphasize something. These directions are well written. They are not um, in a translation mode where things don't quite make sense. Not like that at all. Uh, very clear. So just follow them through and you'll be in fine shape. So you set it up. Now, this one has two coax inputs, two optical inputs, and a USB input. Now, I'm a big USB guy. I admit it, I run, you know, um, as I've stated before, I run Rune and Cobuzz plus my own library from my iMac and run a long USB cable 
into the denifrance. And so I'm addicted to the USB input. Now, I also did try the optical. I don't have a way right now to try um, coax because the old uh, CD DVD player that I used to test it, it kind of took a nose dive. Oh well, things happen. The other good thing this deck has is it has not only RCA inputs, but XLRs. And I've kind of become addicted to the XLR output and inputs. So I'm running that now uh, almost exclusively with the exception when I go vintage with an old AdCom amp or when I go tube with my Vista Audio integrator. And then it's RCA time. But most of the time, I'm running the balanced XLRs. Is there a difference? Yeah, there is a little bit. But let's get back to the music. Now, with the Denifrips, I was looking to see how good it could perform with really well recorded music. And when it comes to that, with artists who sit there and say, hey, wait a minute, sound quality is what it's all about. There's a few guys out there who really stress it. And one of them is Mark Knopfler. And his song, Floating Away. Look it up on your favorite streamer. I got to tell you, this is just, it's a great song. And I'm surprised it, for one, I never really listened to it before. You know, I must have been doing other things, grading papers or what have you. But really, just a beautiful song. And what the Denifrip Series 2 does is just pull every bit of that musicality out of it. It makes it just so enjoyable. You're not thinking, hmm, I like this with my figures. No, instead you're just sitting there and you just fall into the music and you stop thinking about other things. That's how good the Aries 2 performs. It just makes you love music and want to listen to it more. Um, Take Fleetwood Mac, pull out the chain, listen to that from the Rumors album, Holy Cow, or the impeccable Songbird. You know, the, the, those tracks are just something special. You will find yourself falling in love again with songs. Crescent Noon by Karen Carpenter. It's a really interesting song. Her voice drops down a bit into a true alto. And it is just, it's hauntingly gorgeous. And when you listen to it through the Aries 2, you're like, wow, that's special. And that's what you want out of a DAC. You know, uh, some people think you got to get every single instantaneous detail. And you know something? Over time, I've learned, I'll sacrifice a dollar of detail for five dollars of musicality. And that's the difference that you get. Because in the end, it isn't how pretty the gear is. It, it isn't how many awards it's received. It's about how it makes you connect with the music. Let's talk about the firmware update. That was announced uh, approximately about the first, first week of March uh, 2023. And really, this sent the Denifrips owners community a buzz. People got so excited. They were responding with things left and right. Um, I heard about it. I said, OK, I had to wait till the weekend. I cracked open the case. I took a picture of the chip that is used in my model with its stamped uh, specific details on it. Emailed that on in from the from this special little uh, form that you fill out. They said, we'll get back to you in 24 to 48 hours. Well, 
about 40 hours later, they did get back to me. And it said, hey, here's the information. Here's the link to get your specific firmware based upon your chip. Make sure to confirm. And I want to emphasize that to all of you. If you have not updated yet, make sure to confirm what's in your picture with the number that's in the response email from Denfrix. Now, in my case, they also asked, hey, we don't have you on record as being an owner. I said, no, I bought it used, so forth and so on. Well, what I did was I just got things set up, pulled up the website, pulled up my directions, and went through process. It took about 15 minutes, I would say. Now, there's a couple of steps you have to do. On my Mac, I had to go in and, and open, unlock certain things so it could accept that firmware. Um, download, and then going into the terminal mode, uh, process, typing in some code, like a line that you actually cut and paste. Got it set up, ran it through. Like I said, it took about 15 minutes, and it was done. Now, I am going to tell you this. The older the computer you have on a Mac, beware, it may take it a couple of minutes to go through various steps to truly recognize that you're in the in the right um, mode as far as when you unlock the preferences and so forth. So be patient. So what did I hear? What kind of a difference was? Well, with all due honesty, I went back and I re-listened to Crescent Noon, listened to uh, Mark Knopfler. What I heard was more depth, a little bit widening of the sound stage. And I was just thrilled because I thought, you know, are a lot of people going to be able to hear this? No. But luckily, you know, over time, I've kind of learned what to listen for. And in taking notes, it really helps. So for those of you who haven't updated yet and you want to know if you truly hear a difference, make sure pull up about five songs, take very specific notes, look for songs that are really well recorded um, that haven't, you know, crushed the sound. And then take a listen and say, okay, how high up do I hear a flute off to the left side of the speaker? Little details like that. And do your firmware update, re-listen, and see what you get. Compare your notes. The R2R ladder DAC system was the original system for digital to analog. And then most everybody shifted into the Sigma mode. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm just so enthralled with this. I'm curious about maybe for my main rig trying out the next two models up and seeing what improvements I can get. Because I got to tell you, when you get the ability to switch between NAS and oversampling mode, that gives you, once again, that flexibility to deal with the types of speakers, the types of amplifier you're dealing with, and the type of music that you're listening to. That extra control makes it all worthwhile. So for all of you, who haven't done the update, no matter which Denifrips model, get it done. It's worth every second of the time you spent. So what is the Aries 2 and Aries 2 12th anniversary edition give you? It touches your soul. That's what it gives you. It gives you music that gets into your soul and warms it just makes you feel good and allows you just to let go of anything else you're thinking about. It transports you to a better place, which is what music is all about. It is allowing you to let go and just enjoy life. Till next time, take care.